We're here now at Biddeford Long Bridge, an important medieval bridge. It survives in good condition on the River Torridge. And the River Torridge was the inlet for ships coming in for trade. And this is where the quay started and the merchants built their houses. Trade in the 17th century was very much with North America. It was tobacco. This was the major port that brought tobacco from America into Britain and no doubt into Europe as well. That's how the merchants became wealthy. There was another major trade that was stockfish. People went to Newfoundland in northeast coast of America. Fish was captured in vast quantities and it was dried because of course no freezing anything else. That way it was preserved and provided protein for winter use. Stockfish is still eaten in places like Spain and Italy as a traditional Lenten food. But it also it was part of a trade coming from The trade that went the other way was very much a bit different pottery. The kilns here produced pottery. It acted as ballast for the ships going out to the west to the other side of the Atlantic and, and balance the trade. Much Biddeford pottery is still found in the old settlements on the eastern coast of America that was traded from here. And also on the bridge here, the bridge typically as a medieval bridge had a chapel at the end. With the Reformation the chapel lost its function and became the lock-up. When the witches were arrested this was where they were locked up. Temperance, Lloyd, Mary Travers and Susanna Edwards in their turns were kept here and subject to public cross-examination by all and sundry who wants to go to there. There was no concept of, you know, protecting them or the uncontaminated evidence. Anyone, especially gentlemen who had status, were able to satisfy their curiosity and have a bash at cross-examining them. They were difficult circumstances, it wasn't a prison, there wasn't food, they weren't protected in any way. It was quite a harrowing experience for these elderly women.